With neurocinema technology, filmmakers can now look inside your mind to make better movies. I'm Peter Katz. I'm a film producer. Studios rely on people to accurately fill out questionnaires after a test screening. The problem is, it's difficult to remember specific details of a film and what you felt about each scene. That challenge drew me to collaborate with renowned neurologist Dr. Hubbard and researcher Philip Carlson at the MindSide Neuromarketing Facility in San Diego. We will scan the brain of our test subject, Bridget. She's going to watch my whore film Popsicle inside a fMRI machine to measure her fear. Bridget will watch two scenes in a Siemens 3T MRI. Each scene will be shown three times with a 20 second pause to focus on an image of a crosshair to create a neutral state to compare it to. The data from the scan will be converted into a real-time view of Bridget's amygdala and other regions of her brain to be analyzed by the team. Okay, we're gonna get started, Bridget. Okay. Are you doing okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. What we're looking for, the amygdala, is right here. Um, so after we analyze this in about two weeks, we are hoping to see activation here, in the amygdala. So you could see fear. Like if she's scared, like if, the, if she's actually scared, you could see that right on the brain. The amygdala has controls fear, yeah. anger, rage, um, anything that's fight or flight. So if she's having any of those emotions, I think that's pretty good for a horror film. As a rule of thumb, red means scary and blue means not scary. The size of the activation fluctuates, changing in size based on Bridget's personal sensitivities. Sometimes activity disappears altogether if the action isn't scary or disgusting enough. This is the scariest moment in the scene for Bridget. This is the least scary moment in the scene. With neurocinema, I can improve my movie and know which cinematic techniques are scientifically proven to scare my audience. 